spoiler warning, uh, this is going to be a sad one. So, if you don't like hearing about sad things or general unniceties, you can click away now. And thank you for your lovely time. Also, if you hear slopping in the background, it is not me. It is my cat biscuit. Because I have forgotten to feed him until now. It's like, what? It's half ten. I forgot to feed him. I fed my other two though, so that's good. But yeah, sorry about the slopping. And let's get on with the video. Ugh, I think in the video today, I am making, I think it's pumpkin oatmeal raisin cookies. So if you want the recipe, tell me and I will send it you or link it in the doobly-doo down below. We'll see. I might not even do that. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little mental health update because I've not done one since the start of the year. And I'm having a doozy of a time, as you can probably tell as I'm even avoiding the subject of the video. But yeah, I have had my medication increased and I'm not having a good time with it. But I want to give it more than a day or how long? I've been on it for a while, but um, a couple days ago my doctor increased it and I'm just like, woo! As you do. Yeah, I'm not having a good time with it at all. Um, I am feeling quite down. But, you know, you're going to have your good days, you're going to have your bad days. Um, I would like to have a good day. <laughs> but, you know, we're... We are having the thoughts of the death. But, you know, let's see. One hour later. Um, we're not going to do that because that's stupid and unneeded. And unnecessary. Never do that to yourself. But, um, yeah. Let's see. Um, I'm just finding the, like, the day-to-day -day tasks really, like, heavy right now. Like, I can't, like, getting up out of bed depresses me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the very act of getting out of bed and... Like, my room is a pigsty. I tried to film some TikToks the other day, and I quite like the TikToks, apart from the fact that in the background you can just see heaps of clothes and kicked around cat litter all over my bedroom. So, I was not having a good day then. Um, so, but yeah. And I found myself not wanting to be in situations where I am... where I have to speak to strangers. Well, my one, two of my best friends have just moved into a lovely flat together, and we were cleaning. And then one of my friends said that their boyfriend was coming over, and I'm pretty convinced I do not know this person. So I was just like, I have to leave. And then I found out their parents were coming, and I've never really spoken to their parents properly, apart from being over the phone. So I've never really spoken to them in person. Um properly but you know and I just wish that I didn't have to do that to be honest like just uh, it's just not fun like I do in like yeah so any situation where I have to speak to a human being is not fun for me at the moment and every, like, minimal, <sighs> thank you, Spray, um, just every everyday tasks just feel like they're crushing my soul. And it's hard, like, it's hard to speak about it, to be honest, but we have to speak about these things to be able to move forward. Um, like, looking after myself is hard enough. Never mind free cats, and then I've got to clean the house so it's acceptable for people to come over. And then, 
because, like, I think my landlord is secretly trying to sell the house behind our back, like, without telling us. But, you know, it's fine. And I've, I keep got to tell myself that everything's going to be okay. Because it is. We do move through these situations and life has its downs and this isn't the end of everything. 